Hey dudes, I'm the one and only Grasso guy. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to replicate what you just watched. So the Green Lantern effect is something that I've done in my past videos. I accomplished it through Sony Vegas, but it's easily done equally in GIMP. For those of you who don't know, yes, GIMP is a free program. Don't worry, you don't have to go and buy Adobe After Effects or Photoshop. So as you can see, this guitar is not green. We're going to change that. Select the Paths tool. It's a lot like the lasso tool if you're ever used to cropping around a minifigure to do some masking, which is uh, what you do whenever you make them fly. And you're just gonna go around whatever it is that you want to turn green. You want to make the construct green. And you just do this for each frame. However, going getting into details, if, if you want the green to replicate the ring or the suit, uh, you could use the color picker tool here or you could just find a green that matches relatively close. You don't want it to, you don't want the green to overtake everything entirely where you can't make out what it is that you're turning green, so you're going to want to turn the opacity down as well. Uh, this can be done for the entirety of the figure as you can see in this picture I took. You know, it doesn't just have to be his ring and whatever it is that he's creating. If you want to make it so whenever he's flying, he's glowing green, you can do that as well. It's a very simple trick and a very simple process. You know, I didn't have to go into depth with this, but I got a few people asking me in the comments, and I figured this was just the easiest, best way to show you how. Okay, that does it. It's, it's, <laughs> this is very short. I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll try to elaborate a bit. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the Grosser Group.